I want to, on behalf of the 75,000 supporters of the Council of Canadians, I want to say we stand in total and absolute solidarity with the Chilcotin people, with Chief Baptiste, in your struggle against Tosico Mines. Uh, we are deeply, deeply concerned that the Canadian government has decided it didn't like how the first environmental review went, and so they're gutting not only the environmental assessments, assessment process, but now they're gutting the Fisheries Act as well. And it seems to me that they're preparing probably more for Tosico than any other company the way for, the, for round two to go ahead. And I want to tell you that it will not be without opposition from your, your friends and, and colleagues and comrades across the country. We simply stand with you very, very strongly in the past and in the future. I also want to say that we're on the eve of a very important conference here called Showed Out Against Mining Injustice. And we have wonderful friends who have been uh, fighting Canadian mining companies in their own communities and countries, not to see go different Canadian mining companies. And the Harper government has also made life worse for them in recent uh, months. What the Harper government has done has dropped its traditional partnership with church groups like Kairos and other development groups and are now partnering with Canadian mining companies to develop so-called or deliver so-called aid in the global south and they're going so far as to say to countries that want this aid make sure your policies are friendly to our corporations they have shamed canada by changing our aid policy into one of trade and profit for our corporations our mining companies are the biggest and the most in the world they were more canadian mining companies than any other country by far they are the worst in terms of environmental and human rights abuses. This is an industry-sponsored document that says so. We all know it, but this is also admitted by the industry. We are ashamed of the Harper government. We are ashamed of the BC government and its complicity and the governments right across this country who are not saying no, not taking over the role a protector of the lands, protector of, of their peoples. Uh, we stand in solidarity with you here today. Please come tonight, find out about this, this struggle in other countries, and we'll build a, a global network to stop mining abuse across the country, across the world. Thank you.